Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about frequency dividers. They're surprisingly similar to our counters, but you know, it's not really a wonder. Uh, let's think about the counters. Every new digit divides the frequency by two. So frequency divided by two, no problem for us. If we use one, four bit, hex counter, it's a division by 16. Okay. You can use a counter simply to divide the frequency by 16. If you want to use a division by 10, just use the PCT variant. It's counting to 10 and the next bit will be frequency a tenth. Okay. So we can handle 2, we can handle 16, we can handle 10. We're pretty fine already. Yeah. A big area of frequency divider are our time measurements. Yeah. And what we've got there. Yeah. 60 seconds. 60 minutes. One hour. 60 seconds is one minute. 60 minutes is one hour. Yeah. And 24 hours are one day. Uh, I hope I did not surprise you by this brilliant knowledge. So, how can we handle this? Well, let's think about 1 60th is 1 divided by 10 multiplied 1 by divided by 6. Whee! So, and 1 24th yeah, is 1 divided by 2 multiplied 1 divided by 2 multiplied 1 divided by 6. Ta -ta. 6. Yeah. 6 is also a very, very common thing that we want to have frequency dividers. 10, we said we can handle. 2, we can handle, no issue. But 6, it's not that easy. So I show you some examples in three and six. Let's use six for instance. So all we need are three T flip flop flop flip flop flip flop flip flop flop flops. Flop, flop. Three T flip flops with static set and reset inputs. So like the the ones we used. So static S and R's. Here we have Q, not Q. Oh S and R. We use inverted clock. Okay. Now let's draw it like this. Now it's a counter, right? Right. So there is an output QA, there's an output QB, and there is the output QC. What do I do? I will do an AND here. And every time those two are one, I will reset them. Hmm. Does it really do what I promised? Let's see. Hmm. So this is C now. This shall be QA. This shall be QB. And this shall be QC. And I will draw simply this C as talking thing.
and let's because we have falling edge I will simply make a dotted line to indicate at this point in time we have the falling edge of C Now let's think about this. Let's think, let's say we start at zero. Yeah? All outputs are zero. Yeah? Zero, zero, up to the first falling edge, all are zero for sure. Yeah? Then this will toggle. Yeah? So here we go into one. The end is not fulfilled. If we go from 0 to 1, there is no falling edge here. Fine. Okay. Oh, this will look like this. Okay. Here, next falling edge, this will toggle. Because I have a falling edge, this will toggle. Yeah. This will not toggle. Yeah. The end is also not fulfilled because this is 0 and this is 1. No end. Hmm. 0. Now, this is toggling. Yeah. This is not talking, it will stay up. And this is up. Now the end is fulfilled. Yeah. And will reset both. Okay. It will simply reset both. This will go down, this will go down, and here suddenly we're up. Okay. next falling edge. Here we're going up, here nothing is happening. Here we're going down, here we go up. Here we're going up, suddenly both are true again and we're going down, down. Okay. Here we are changing down. Okay. And then we're pretty much at the beginning. Yeah. Going up, down, up, stay down, up, reset, going up. Now, this is one period. This is one period of QC, and this takes one, two, three, four, five, six periods of QC. Frequency divider, asynchronous frequency divider, one to six. Hmm? Exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So yes, it is possible. It is possible to use these uh, frequency dividers. So this was an asynchronous approach. Yeah? Now I show you a little bit. Also, pretty sophisticated thing. Yeah, I'll turn this simply over, and I show you a nice, a nice frequency divider with JK flip flops, synchronous frequency divider, where it's not that easy to see what is happening. So these are JK, JK. In order to let you see, there is quite some engineering in those things inside. See? Then we simply move this. Here is QA. Here is QP, and here it is not Q from here. I am using here is J and K. Okay, now let's explore what the thing is doing. This is C, this is QA, this is QP. This is the 
time always uh, C QA QP and I will also again say this C is just talking a constant frequency even if right now it does not really look like constant Falling edge is the important one. Let's draw the falling edge to the other diagrams. Transfer them. And let's say at the beginning we are at zero. Okay? Both things are zero. CQA is zero. QP is zero. Now, because QP is zero, this is one, and this will toggle. Okay? This will toggle. So this will change to high. Okay? Here the output was was uh, 0 1 so we will stay at 0 1 uh, 0 1 yeah 0 1 we will stay at 0 1 we will stay down here yeah. okay. next thing yeah. now 0 1 this is talking again yeah but now we have a 1 0 yeah. so this will appear here 1 0 this is talking. Okay. This here is now zero. Okay. Here is now zero. This will not toggle. This will stay. Yeah. Since here is zero one, we will take here. This will switch down again. And now we are pretty much at the beginning. Yeah here in this situation because both are zero so this will toggle up toggle down this will go up down this is how this will look like okay here it even does not matter if I'm using QA and QB because one two three then the period is full three times one Two three is the frequency divider. And then I need a second frequency divider with one to two, and I have one to six. Synchronous approach. So you see, it's working. I have shown you two examples. This one asynchronous approach. This one synchronous approach. Simply because they are so badly needed this three and six things yeah there are frequency dividers also for other other combinations yeah. but you see there is not really a lot of effort behind there are a number of elements for sure yeah. but it's not that complicated yeah this was frequency divider we need them because our frequencies of our crystals, swinging crystals, they're usually rather high. So we divide them down. Hmm. Yeah. Next thing we're talking about are monoflops, eh? monostable memories, digital time elements. This will have been next video. For this time, Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.